One FC has a massive event coming up this weekend, and Nikki Holtzkin is one of the fighters on it. He's going to be facing Yoshihiro Akiyama, who's also known as Sexyama. This has a very interesting rule set, and today, in anticipation of that, we are watching John Wayne Parr versus Holtzkin. In Holtzkin's upcoming match, he will be fighting most likely in MMA gloves because round number one is boxing, round number two is kickboxing, and round number three is MMA. Nice dump there from John Wayne Parr early on. I'm very excited actually to see him fight under this unique rule set style. And what's going to be the most interesting, I think, is can the MMA fighter, Akiyama, make it out of round one, which is strictly boxing. And we have to keep in mind that Nikki Holtzkin is no slouch. He has faced some high-level dudes in boxing. He's not just strictly a kickboxer. I believe he fought one of the Smith brothers and went the whole distance with him. Um, he has really good hands. And I just don't see, personally, how Akiyama is going to make it out of the boxing round. But let's watch some of the hands here that Holtzkin is throwing. And extra scary if it is in the MMA glove. Especially that left hook that he has down to the body. Whoa, that thing is mean. And I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe this was the first time that Holtzkin ever fought in four ounce gloves. So now he'll have an understanding of it. He'll do even better than this fight. And what we're looking for here is the hand combos of Nikki. See if he strings things together or if he's, oh, see even that, that counter left hook there was so dangerous. He's throwing some elbows. Oh, spinning hook kick. That is so much harder to block too with the small gloves because even if your hand is up, which it wasn't in John Wayne's Parr's case, but even if it was, the gloves are not necessarily big enough to protect you. I like how Nikki's still able to hide behind that Dutch guard, even with these small gloves. He doesn't seem very worried about, oh, I have to change my defensive style because I'm wearing MMA gloves. Just doing the same old thing. Seems to be working. He does, in all fairness, look a little bigger than John Wayne Parr. I don't know if this is the exact perfect matchup size-wise. But that was a beautiful spinning hook kick, no doubt. Oh, there's the cross. The left hook, you got to keep your eye on that with him. It can either come down to the body in a really mean way or up to head level. Still dangerous. Akiyama is going to have his hands full because if he can get John Wayne Parr, or sorry, uh, Nikki Holtzkin to the third round, you have to assume with his submission skills, he's just going to dominate. He'll do what most MMA fighters do and he'll just take him down and submit him. And I don't see Nikki having really any great defense for anything there, but man, he's got two rounds to get through. And I might have been wrong on that last uh, little video clip there. The spinning hook kick looked like it may have actually just been with John Wayne Parr's hand up. He didn't actually drop it. It wasn't significantly lower than it should have been. Just small glove and a lot more room for a heel to just miss that glove. So John Wayne Parr got rocked a couple times in that round. And it'll be interesting to see if he can make it out of round number two. Here we go. And Akiyama kind of throws, not exactly like John Wayne Parr, but he doesn't have that same fluid style that just a pure striker has. So I think we'll see some of the similarities. Um, John Way sees just a little stiffer than the average person. He makes it work for him. But unless Akiyama can find some hole, we 
which just seems unlikely with Holtzkin's tight defense, because he'll basically have to knock him out. He'll have to knock him out in round one or two, or submit him in round number three. Good cross there. Now he's starting to let the combos go. Whoa! There's that check left hook. Whew. He is sharp with that. Just blocks one shot, fires back. Such little time between his block and his counter. What a trooper. John Wayne Parr right back up. Throwing that left round kick. But Nicky's so good at dealing with body round kicks. He just does that nice, that nice X block or cross block, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and up to the head kick. Wow. So you guys can catch Nikki Holskin back in MMA gloves this upcoming weekend. There's going to be some great fights on it, including Superlek versus Takaru. I'm looking forward to that fight so much. So be sure to tune in for that, guys. I will see you back here very soon.